Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So, welcome if you're new to the Art of Noise, and if you're not new to the Art of Noise, welcome back. I want to change things up a little bit. I want to make things a little bit more interesting. I want to get involved in other things. I have used all kinds of finishes on guitars, some better quality than the others, and I've come to like the Max Spray 1K and 2K sprays, um, mid coat, base coat, clear coat, and it's, I found that it's a lot more durable than anything else that I've used besides the epoxy resin as a finish on a guitar. But I want to expand further than customizing uh, and refinishing guitars. I want to start doing some other work. Now I know I showed a while back that I have a ed laser etching machine, which I still have, but haven't unboxed yet. Uh, the problem with that is, is real estate in the garage. I'm waiting for some stuff to be moved around in order to set up the machine to where I don't have to take it apart every time I get done using it. So it will be a permanent part of the garage with all the other tools that are inside there to where I just go ahead and do my thing with the computer, plug it in, and let it start etching away. But there's something else that I want to do. And a friend of mine on YouTube, another YouTuber, came up with a, sent me an email with photos of a guitar that Mick Mars from Motley Crue has got and said that it wasn't a mass produced guitar. Uh, don't know where it came from and don't know who built it. You know, don't know if it was a brand name that built this guitar or if it was a one-off for Mick Mars or if it was a guitar that Mick Mars used for a photo shoot that belonged to somebody else. I cannot find anything about it on the internet other than a few photo shoots of Mick Mars with the guitar, but no information about it. So I don't know if it's a single coil humbucker, don't know if it's uh, two humbuckers, you know, if it's a Floyd Rose Bridge, you know, I don't know exactly because the quality of the photos aren't all that great. Copy and paste, zoom in on them, and they pixelate really bad. So you guys, you know, some of you guys who were into the music and into the people behind the music, me, myself, I really wasn't into the people behind the music, although there was a handful of artists that uh, I was really, really into at the time. But mine was more of the music in general, not the people behind it. So maybe you guys have some information that you can help me out with. My email is in the description below. Uh, send me either a link, send me a photo, any type of information that you may have or know about this guitar, I'm going to build it. And I may build a few of them. So I got the materials to do so. It's just figuring out the actual look and what it needs to become reality. Thanks a lot, guys. You guys take it easy. Have a good one, and I will catch up with you all later.